Hello traders, hope you guys are doing well and welcome to today's edition of the London Session Open. Today is uh, June 25th, 2019 and it's uh, 9.37 a.m. in London when I'm doing this market update. Uh, I'm not doing it live today, having some technical issues. Uh, it's not too much to do about that. Uh, hopefully we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, so I'm doing this as a recording and then I'm going to upload it directly to YouTube so you guys can um, know what's going on in the markets. Now, if you're new to this, my name is Alejandro Sombrano and I'm the Global Chief Market Strategist with ATFX. Uh, I work with a team out of Dubai, Hong Kong, mainland China, and also Greece nowadays. So it's quite a... I'm covering good many markets, providing analysis to people from all across the world. Uh, now, in this specific presentation, we're just going to take a look at the short-term levels uh, of major currencies and indices and commodities. And we're going to begin with the euro. Um, okay, so let's begin. So, the euro, as you know, uh, a few days ago I mentioned that, that we took out that wedge again. So, the, we had an attempt to trade upwards just a few days ago in the beginning of June and then pull back and then another breakout because the Federal Reserve is cutting interest rates. Now, I'm not a really big fan of the euro because, again, the most likely what's going to happen in, in a few months is that, you know, right now maybe the Federal Reserve is going to cut interest rates, but then in a few months, most likely the uh, the ECB is going to cut interest rates, so they will counter uh, any cuts from the uh, Fed. So, I think what could happen here is again we can go upwards in the short term over the next month or two, and then most likely the market will probably come back down crashing again. But uh, there's a lot of people that are fully aware of these two scenarios, so they're not really very interested to trade the euro dollar because of that. Now, technically though, the dollar is losing out for now, and uh, the overall trend is bullish above 12.78. So we may have a little pullback, something like 13.52, and then going upwards. So I'm, I'm going to maintain a bullish buy for now, but I wouldn't get too excited. Here's the GBP versus the USD, and I'm not very excited here either because of um uh, you know the brexit situation uh however uh people are selling far more dollars than they're uh selling gbp right now and that's why the market's going upwards so it's, it's trying to trade above this 2764 level which is level up here so the market may it's probably going to go up a bit and then a little bit lower and then probably upwards again to 129 i would argue uh but i wouldn't get too excited but the short-term trend is bullish about 126 41 uh, dollar versus the Japanese yen so over the last few days we talked about selling and I said that uh, up here at uh, this level here which is uh, 107.65 the market is going to sell so we did go all the way up to that level on June 21st we got in fact a perfect little entry here if you would have shorted here um, uh, sorry this was yeah on Friday a little bit of no overshoot of uh, I think about four or five pip, it's not a lot. I think now we can reduce the trend defining level a bit. So obviously this we can leave on here. That was the original entry. And I think, again, probably the market, we can probably reduce the trend defining level a tiny bit, maybe to one oh, actually we'll just leave it here. Uh, there's no reason to make any major changes here. Um, but that's the original entry. I think realistically, it's even possible to put here 107.96 that would be the stop uh, but i don't want to be too close to all the action because i think we can go down to all, all the way down to 105 so you don't want to be shaking out in the beginning of a move uh, which is rather typical so what's the game plan going forward well i think if we go up to this new cell zone here so starting from 10730 then i think then i think the market will continue to sort of turn over from these levels as for uh, the gold prices, they're literally on fire, and um, you know clearly uh, sort of misjudged um, how this will play out. Uh, we're obviously we've got the first part of the section good, but then afterwards the market just sort of rallies and rallies higher, and it loves to trade upwards in the middle of the night. So some Asian players here buying, because uh, they're very eager to get in, or in case they're short, very eager to get out. Now, I think here going forward, I think we can, you know, sort of forget about this being the level. In the short term, the trend of funding level is now here at 13.76.68. So that will be the new trend of funding level. 
and really above that level I think the market is gonna be bullish so we can easily go down maybe to 1400 maybe 1410 uh, but I think from those levels people are gonna look to get involved and I think most people that have been buying here lately they all have their stop losses just down here I would argue so fib this gives you the different fib levels but prefer my preference again is one uh, one hundred and fourteen ten or something like that maybe here I would personally like to buy 1400 just leave it down here really and then we'll see how far it goes if it's still gonna go to 1600 which I think it will do over the next few weeks and months then it's still gonna be a good ratio ratio being bullish from these levels as for crude oil so crude oil is you know resting up here because of the geopolitical tensions not a lot of people uh, want to go short um, at the same time though uh, not a lot of people think want to go long because I think what's happening here is is that um, if you look at this from a bigger picture perspective the trend is pretty much bearish have a high here high here and high here so I think I think realistically we should revisit the lows before heading upwards that would be perfectly fine because we don't just go from very bearish to very bullish that's very seldom that happens of course you have the help here okay of course you have the help here of uh, uh, you having the help here of um, the situation between uh, the US and Iran which is helping things uh, and that's why we short and bullish now if you believe things are gonna deteriorate more in the Persian Gulf you think we're gonna have some war then obviously you want to hold on to your crude oil long positions if you're more like me you think not too much more is gonna happen I mean it will could happen and we can be trading upwards but I don't think it's gonna be like all our war and then as I said over the last few days you know maybe up here it's probably a good idea to book a bit of profit if we go revisit the lows here I think that's what people are gonna be buying because I think we need a little pullback uh, and then again if you if you so you keep off that's what I would do keep off in case it goes up worse and that's fine and if it doesn't at least you got some of it and down here I think people are gonna look to reestablish long positions as for the S&P the S&P 500 remains bullish above uh, 2909 and uh, the market they tried to trade above the highs here did not really manage to trade much 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 higher um, but I think down here uh, support can uh, support uh, pretty much at 2932 uh, I think people are gonna buy it's the same area I shared with you guys a few days ago uh, the idea was just to buy down here book profits up here and I'm gonna stick with this idea there's no real reason to change this for now uh, German DAX um, so the idea here you might remember we're trading up here on uh, June 19th now I said probably down here people probably gonna try to buy and then I lifted the buy zone a little bit and we touched that today and now we're having a bit of a bullish reaction there which is what I was hoping for so no real change to the outlook here we touched the buy zone we're moving away from the buy zone it's too early to say that we bottomed out here but the trend is bullish above 11,988 and I think that's pretty much it we covered all of the main markets we're gonna be back tomorrow hopefully when we have things up and running here uh, as they should and we'll host the next presentation live thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you need this presentation and if you are already subscribed and you're watching this live or watching this recording don't forget to hit that like button have a great day guys thank you